Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on ordered pairs worksheets. So this video gives us a few worksheets where we can practice working with ordered pairs. What we're mainly doing here is we're locating some points on the number plane and we're joining those points to form particular shapes. After that, we'll be asked to find specific calculations relating to each of the shapes. Now, if you're not sure what to do as you go through the exercises, at the end of this particular video, that is on the last slide, there is a link. If you click on that link, it will take you to the lesson and it will explain how to do each of these examples. Now, let's quickly go through this first one. For the above triangle, find the coordinates of A, B and C. That is, you have to find the X and Y value of each of those three points. There's A, there's B and there's C. So that's quite straightforward. That's all coordinates mean. The X value and the Y value of each point. Find the area of the triangle. Now we saw in the lesson that we had on this particular topic that the area of a triangle, and we should all know this, and I'm sure we do, half times base times height. Now height means perpendicular height. So there is the formula for the area of a triangle. So all you have to do is find the length of the base, the length of the height, and use that formula. Finally, find the midpoints of each side. So we have three sides here and we have to find the midpoints of each. Now here's a, a little hint. It's very easy to find the midpoints of the horizontal side. It's very easy to find the midpoint of the vertical side. Once you find each of those midpoints, that is the midpoint of BC and the midpoint of AB, that information will easily help you to find the midpoint of AC. Now it's exactly the same routine for this example here. It's just a, another figure placed in a different position, but it's exactly the same type of questions. And very similar here, you'll notice here that the points in the triangle are in different places. Okay, so we've gone to the negative section here and the negative section down there. Take your time and just answer those. And the last one here, the only difference here is the shape is different. However, the exercises that we've been asked to do are very similar. So read them carefully and away you go. And remember, on the next slide, there is a link. You click on that link and it'll take you to the lesson and it will explain how to do all of these examples.